Yes, McLovin. I read a lot about John Facenda yesterday. Apparently there was some rocky legal stuff back in the 80s. And that was against NFL films? Against the NFL because his voice appears, in, after he died, his voice would appear in commercials and there was a question about him being compensated, his family, which makes sense because that voice, you hear it still all over the place, but does his family deserve to get paid every time you hear it? Well, I, I don't know if it's a situation like Jerry West. He's the logo. He didn't, yeah. he didn't get any compensation for that. Yes. Exactly the same. Yes, he did. There have been times, though, um, like it, I think it depends on what his contract said. You know, I mean, they could have owned that the voice for in perpetuity. Um, and I know that there was a, a the guy who sang the jingle that Yahoo. Hoo. You ever remember Yahoo? The, they did that jingle. Yeah. Uh, Yahoo. Hoo. <laughs> that guy, they paid him like I'm going to have the numbers wrong, like fifteen hundred dollars or something. We're like, all right, we own it now. And then he later sued. And was like, no, 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 no. That's worth way more than fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And his reaction once he won the settlement was, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> see that's see what I did there, Fritzy. You brought Seton, it home. Seton was ready. Yeah, catch up, Todd. You put the exclamation point on it. That's Thank good. you, Todd. That's good. All right. Oh, that's where I do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to do a Mike Tyson impersonation. Oh, yeah. see, that's you're setting me yeah. up to do the impression. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna have Mike Tyson. <laughs> on. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little clueless at times. Sometimes you just have to say, Fritzy, do your Mike Tyson impersonation. No, it, it, I, it's it sound is good to do it. No, that it, way. It, it's better. Uh, people want to talk to me about my pigeon collection. I don't understand why they want to talk about boxing. See? Why do they want to talk about boxing? Yeah. I know I fought a couple of fights, but I don't understand. The, they're all interested in my boxing career. It's weird. You should come to my ranch. We're going like, to have some weed together. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> bring, bring, bring Peter King. I heard he's a weed <laughs> See, it's yesterday after the show. Like, Todd is great after the show. Not during. He's Definitely always during. great after the show. And we're, we're just sitting around talking. And Todd gets on his Mike Tyson impersonation. And then he added another layer to it because he gave us the Tyson laugh. That's, Dana White wants me to, like, fight shock. Well, if you don't have friends like that, who needs that enemy? <laughs> <laughs> that's the next level. The laugh is the next level. Must be a fight shark. It was like so supercilious of him to want me to fight a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Let's take a break oh, here. Uh, Twenty-one after the hour. Your phone calls are up. Yes, I'm so happy that people got to see Todd succeed. Uh, that's something. Like, I, I, <laughs> he really is so funny. They've waited a long time. Like an eclipse. Yeah. Waited well a below long... the Mendoza line. We'll get there. We'll catch you. Well, well below the Mendoza line.